high-intensity operations on the USS Harry Truman. Jets taking off every few minutes to hit ISIS, now from a better position than before. The Truman just moved from the Persian Gulf to the Mediterranean Sea, much closer to Syria. We spoke to F-18 pilots flying one of the first strike missions. It was a uh, close air support mission, uh, so we don't know the targets uh, prior to taking off. There did happen to be a few targets, so uh, we uh, struck those targets. The U.S. says its airstrikes are having a major effect as allied forces on the ground continue to win back territory from the extremists in places like Fallujah in Iraq and in northern Syria. American jets not only hitting ISIS positions on the front lines, but also supply lines and cash warehouses. The U.S. has drastically stepped up its bombings of ISIS targets both in Iraq and Syria, and the Harry Truman plays an important role in that stepped-up campaign. Now that it's here in the Mediterranean, its jets are even closer to many of the targets they need to hit. The increased operational tempo and the move from the Gulf to the Mediterranean put a strain on the Truman's crew. The carrier's tour extended by a full month. But the Admiral tells me his men and women are still going strong. It's a graphic illustration of the flexibility that's inherent with the naval forces. You know, we can, we can operate anywhere we want to in the world. Uh, as it happens on this deployment, our priority has been the support of Operation Inherent Resolve uh, in Iraq and Syria. U.S. commanders believe the coming weeks will be critical in the fight against ISIS now that the group seems to be losing its grip on some of its major strongholds, gains the Truman's pilots helped pave the way for. We have definitely uh, degraded them and uh, we've uh, destroyed them in uh, many different places uh, all throughout Iraq and Syria, so I, I feel like we've made a large impact. ISIS may be weakened, but some of the most intense fighting against the group probably still lies ahead and so do many more combat missions for this carrier's jets.